guys, how are you feeling? I hope you guys are well. Welcome back to yet another Baby Boo Bakes. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the most delicious apple sponge cake literally ever. It is perfect for any occasion and so, so, so easy to make. So, I hope you enjoy. It's just for the video, it's going to look and sound terrible. So I'm going to use a fork, but yeah, whatever you guys prefer. Okay, next step, you're going to want to beat in your three eggs one at a time. Okay, right now you need to go and preheat your oven to 180 degrees. Okay, moving on, we're now going to add our dry ingredients to our amazing fluffy mixture here. Our dry ingredients, don't forget, are our flour, our baking powder, and our salt. And then once you've added that in, add in your quarter cup of milk. So it's now time to put it in the dish. You can really use any dish for this. It depends how thick you want your sponge cake or not. I'm using this apple pie dish, even though it's not an apple pie, but it seems to work really nice for me. But you can also use a rectangular square, whatever dish you really want. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pour your mixture into your dish and then using your fork, you're going to space your pieces of apple all around it. Don't worry if you can see more apple than Make sure it will rise and it will become very cakey. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, in a pot, a small pot, the smallest pot you have, you're going to want to add half a cup of sugar, half a cup of milk, and a dash of caramel essence, and then turn your stove up to the highest heat. Okay, so what you're going to need to do now, is it's very important to note that this needs to be stirred the entire time, otherwise your sugar is going to burn. And once you, if you literally guys are stirring until it starts bubbling over. Okay, once it starts bubbling, it's not bubbling now. So, for now, you're just going to leave it the way it is, but carry on stirring, and when it starts bubbling up, you're going to just turn it down to a lower heat and let it simmer, and as soon as your sponge cake comes out the oven, you're going to pour it on top. Okay guys, so I've just taken it out of the oven, and as you can see in the corner, I straight away poured the mixture onto it, and it bubbled and sunk right in. It now looks incredibly good, and spongy, and totally, totally delicious. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so, so much for watching. Please make sure to check out all my previous videos and my next video, which will be a chocolate cake video. Anyways, please remember to follow me on Bailey Boo Bakes Instagram and remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye!